I'm inviting you to join Lifehouse Church and other partner churches on this 21-day journey of fasting and prayer. So why fasting and prayer? Well, we pray first as we start 2023 because we're putting God first. That's right. Can I challenge you to pray first because you're putting God first this year and why fasting? Well, fasting is the idea of leveraging your natural appetites like an alarm clock to focus your attention on God. But the idea behind uh, fasting and prayer is not just disciplines and not just something to start off a new year. In fact, we're going to turn our attention to Isaiah chapter 58, where the author and prophet is challenging the nation of Israel in the way that they're fasting and praying. He says, the goal is not just to starve yourself or humble yourself. In fact, let me just read this to you. He says, is this the kind of fast I have chosen? Only a day for a man to humble himself? Is it only for bowing one's head like a reed? or for lying on sackcloth and ashes? Is that what you call a fast, a day acceptable to the Lord? And his challenge is that fasting should be about more than just you know going hungry or doing without food or even just bowing your head in prayer, that it should change us. Is not this the kind of fasting I have chosen, to loose the chains of injustice and tie the cords of the yoke, to set the oppressed free and break every yoke? Is it not to share your food with the hungry and to provide the poor wanderer with shelter? Meaning he says that when we fast and pray, it should change us. So how does God want to change you? Maybe take this first day and just begin to journal and pray about how God wants to change you over the next 21 days. And maybe take a few moments and read Isaiah chapter 58.